discover the NAB Show, the ultimate destination for media, entertainment and technology professionals. Explore innovation and connect with industry leaders right here in Las Vegas. Well, here we are at the Voice Interaction Stand with Joao, and it's great to see you again in Thank Las Vegas, you. back in Las Vegas. How's the show going so far for you? Yeah, you have been an interesting show, okay? Because NIB is always interesting because of the market, okay? Also, for us, it's important because it's a good market in terms of innovation, and we are providing some good products with good technology, in terms of speech recognition and media monitoring. And for that reason, is always uh, a landmark in terms of what we are providing for the broadcasting industry. So I'd love to know more of what are the trends currently and where do you sit within all of the different markets? Uh, we are talking always about AI technology, which is a buzzword now. But basically, we have been working for speech recognition for a long time and we have been using these in different products. One is automatic closed captioning, which is our main, uh, main product in terms of this industry with the, the live closed captioning. Um, what we have been doing in the, last, uh, in the last, uh, last year is in terms of new language that we are covering, okay? Also the fact that we are working in multi-language, that means we can have different language in the same uh, in the same programs and we are working on with this and also the fact that we have been adding translation. Here in the US we have been working for uh, English and uh, Spanish for a long time. We have been providing this kind of translation simultaneous for the two languages and what we have been doing as a company is increasing the coverage of the language. Also what we have been doing in terms of the trans trans translation and this is has been a, a good improvement in terms of the technology that we have been providing and also the way that we can connect with the, the clients in the sense they can have more coverage and uh, uh, deliver the content to a different uh, audiences. Joao, what about the accuracy too? How has that improved over time to get the exactly the right word in translation with AI? The accuracy will depend on language to language. We are talking about technology, and um, these kind of models are learning from data. Okay, With more data, we can improve the accuracy. And what we have been seeing, and uh, if we look to the past in the five years, we came from 95 to the 98, 99 that we have now. And the idea is, when you have more data, that means you can improve, you can have a better training of the models, which are improving the quality that we are providing also together with the accuracy. Okay? But again, that will depend on language to language because uh, depending on the, the amount of data that we have, we have better models or not. Okay? And what are you seeing the future? What is it holding for you for now? Where are you going to be, say, in the next 10 years? This kind of technology has been in, uh, with a large evolution, okay, and we see the, the big jump that we have in uh, the last two years, okay, and uh, from us, what we have been doing is the way that you can look to audio and video, the way that you can give a little bit more in terms of accessibility of this kind of content, and the, the fact that you can uh, use this kind of technology to generate more awareness of this kind of content and to make it uh, available to different audiences. And uh, the fact that we are doing transcription, the fact that we are doing also translation to a different language, and also the fact that we are using this metadata to discover the content with, for example, with our media monitoring solutions, where we can look to the content, uh, understand exactly what is the content, and trying to generate different clips to repurposing this kind of uh, videos and using with different audiences in order to reach more people and to be more accessible. And it is about targeting those people, those customers out there. What interest has there been on the stand? Yeah, it has been uh, interesting because we, we, when we are here in a show like this one and we are 
uh, from this side of the stand, we are interacting with a lot of people, okay? With different needs, looking to different solutions, and it's also from our side that we provide these solutions, trying to find the best way to fulfill all these needs in terms of the technology uh, and to get to the clients and trying to, to understand from the point of view of the client or what should be the best approach to have uh, to fulfill their needs. Okay. okay, so that's where you're really listening and coming right. up with the solutions for the next time. Right. And people on the stand, what are you showcasing? What do you show them? Uh, we have a, a solution for live closed captioning, which is basically our main product with translation and multi-language. We have also a solution for file-based, okay, with Audium server that allows that you can drop a file and we have the full transcription and also a translation for multiple language. And we have also a solution for media monitoring where we are looking to the contents and trying to understand what is the content and be able to create in different clips from that content and be able to search and dig on this content and to do some repurposing and other platforms. Wow, great to see you at NAB and good luck. Thank you. Nice to see you again.